us up, Mac. Keith Pompey with the Philadelphia Inquirer. Just talk about the emotions you're going through right now winning this slam dunk contest. Yeah, um, just a lot of gratitude. Um, it's really a blur, to be honest with you. I think probably a lot of stuff's happening on the Internet and everything I haven't checked, but um, really just grateful. I had a lot of help. It wasn't, you know, just me. I had Chuck and my best friends calling me every night trying to give me ideas, so it was a lot of fun out there. Dave, up front. Matt, coming into this, uh, there was casual sports fans, casual NBA fans wondering who is this guy, and, and you kind of ended up stealing the show, won over the entire arena, I'm sure, won a lot of the audience back home watching on the televisions. Um, was that a motivating factor at all? Like, you may not know me going into the night, but by the night's over, you, you will? Not really, to be honest. I think um, my situation, it's, you know, I'm not really worried what other people think, good or bad. I'm just staying the course. You know, my goal is to, you know, make an impact in the NBA, and I'm just going to keep working until, until that happens. Over the left side on the second, third row on the aisle. Uh, yeah, Mac, you winning this dunk contest is like the ultimate underdog story. What is it about that that feels so good for us as fans and as well as yourself? And why does it fit you and your personality so perfectly? I don't know. It just it kind of feels ever since the beginning I was the underdog, uh, even when I was younger. But, uh, yeah, just like I was saying, kind of just proving yourself right and not others wrong is kind of more uh, – it brings a little more satisfaction. So I just kind of look at it that way. Over here on the third row. Congrats on your win, Mac. Uh, what were some of your, who were some of your dunk idols growing up? What were some of your favorite dunks in the NBA contest growing up? Yeah, I mean, I loved Vince Carter and uh, just watching uh, the Adam, Le uh, the sorry, the Zach Levine and the Aaron Gordon dunk contest was just, uh, it was something I enjoyed so much. And you know, I was like, man, if I get to be a part of this one day, you know, I hope to make an impact like those guys. And you know, uh, got a lot of inspiration from them. Right here in this corner. Congrats, Mac. Uh, before the contest, you said. Uh, you would do two never-before-seen dunks. Uh, what, what, what went into your research in making sure uh, nobody had ever performed those two dunks? Uh, yeah, I think just uh, a lot of research with my friends. We would just look at professional dunkers and as well as the NBA dunk contest because um, we just wanted to make, uh, just try to make something up that we haven't seen before. And the first dunk I, I, I haven't seen before, so hopefully it's not out there. How do you manage Eric, all the pressure? You look really confident. Um, I think just getting that first dunk down is a lot. Uh, I love the pressure off and the crowd kind of, I heard the crowd kind of for me and uh, that just, that kind of gave me a lot of confidence. Joe Varden with The Athletic. Mac, the, when you rip the, the final dunk um, and then you kind of, you know, put, put it across your chest like it's over, can you describe the sort of the emotion of that moment and if you had thought for sure that, that you had won by that point? Yeah, I think something took over me. I don't know what, what that was, but, uh, you know, I wasn't really even thinking in the moment. It was just kind of just something that happened, to be honest with you. Over on your left, second row. Mac, uh, I think you did like a 540 in there. Was, is a 720 a dunk in, in your package? And how many dunks did you kind of work on uh, heading into this before you confidently brought it in? Yeah, uh, Chuck and I had about eight dunks we were trying to um, – decide between and uh, I, I left out about uh, four of them so I, I kept in the stash and we were just balancing the situation and you know what the other scores were. Hi Christina from Mexico. Uh, what would you say that people from G League has been something very special in your career so what would you say to all, all the teammates from the G League and everybody that follows the G League? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm super grateful for this opportunity. I think a lot of guys in the G League probably deserve this light that I just got. And, um, you know, um, I'm very appreciative, and I, and I hope I represented well for them. Um, and I really appreciate the NBA giving us this opportunity. In the center. Um, hi, congratulations. Uh, how many dunks did you have uh, in the pocket, like you knew you'd go through? How long did it take you to prepare, and which one gave you the most problems? Yeah, um, to be honest, the 540 at the end, I didn't make it at all yesterday, to be honest with you. So it was really, uh, I was like, I'm going to save this for last. So, you know, if I've made all my dunks, I know I'll have a little confidence. But I had about four that I didn't use. We were deciding between eight. Again, in the center. Congrats. Congratulations. Um, you just became a household name. Has it sunk in yet? One. And then two, um, how big is it for you to know that you have actually saved the dunk contest? Oh, man, I don't know if that's true. I appreciate you saying that. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, um, no, just, just a lot of gratitude. I had so much help with this, with Chuck and uh, Chase and my, all my friends. So it, it's a lot of it was their help, to be honest with you. Tim, on the front left. Tim Reynolds with AP. Mac, everyone kind of knows your story. Texas Tech, Georgetown, the G League. 
having played for the Sixers, Sixers yet, I don't think. Do you have any idea what this moment can mean for your brand? As I mean, that stuff does matter. I know you want to get to the league and establish yourself in the league, but I'm certain your phone has absolutely exploded this evening. Do you have any idea what this moment's going to do for you? I don't think I do yet. Um, I'm really, it's all been a blur. It felt like it was just like 30 seconds we were out there and now we're here. But um, no, I haven't been around my phone or anything, but um, I'm super happy. I was going to tell him this, is, this was from my little brother Cam, so uh, he gave me a lot of inspiration for the contest. Mac, uh, back here in the front, can you tell us a little bit about the guys you jumped over in the first round and, and again, your third dunk, who those guys were, and then tell us about the inspiration for the high school jersey. Yeah, so the one guy was uh, was Chase with Team Flight Brothers, and, uh, you know, he's one of the guys, him and Chuck really helped me out with ideas. Another guy was my best friend, Bradley Dean from high school. He was the one throwing me all the lobs and the, the YouTube videos, and uh, it meant the world to, to have him out here, you know, being from a small town, a gate city of 1,600 people, and now we're on this stage. It was just, it was unbelievable. Far back corner on the right. Hi, uh, congratulations. Did you... Did you know that on your first dunk, people would not realize right away that you touched the glass after the jump? Did you, was that part of the thought of when, when you did that dunk, or you expected everyone to to see it right away? Yeah, that's why I was I was I was banking on the slow motion video. I knew it would be hard to see, um, but I'm glad everybody saw it after the slow mo. Three, come up to the guy in the black hat. Towards the back, back right. Yeah, Chuck from uh, Gary, Indiana Crusader. Matt, I want to find out, uh, is your talent hereditary? Is there anybody in your family that did those kinds of things that inspired you? Uh, my dad, he, uh, he says he did. I've never seen it personally, but uh, he always told me he had more balance than me, so. <laughs> in, in the front center. Uh, Mac, after, after you won, you said you would do it again if they invited you. This is an opportunity. Is there anyone you would like to challenge to join you in next year's contest? Don't be shy. Uh, man, whoever wants to. Uh, I'm a big believer in just doing whatever you want to do. And, uh, you know, whoever, whoever, uh, whoever wants to come, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it with them. Back right. Hey, hey Mac, uh, Len World Open Core Basketball. As you said, you had eight dunks prepared. Uh, how spontaneous did you choose what you showed us tonight and um, what, what you maybe safe for next year yeah no uh i would just uh look at kind of chuck after i'm like you know what what dunk should i go to and you know i'd probably know after probably the guy before me gets done i would kind of have like while he was going i just kind of had the idea let's let's do this one david um when you get back in the lab and you start getting working on your game again what are some of the things that you know you're going to have to improve on to to get to the nba level and what was it like out there seeing Dr. J out there while you're doing these incredible dunks tonight? Oh, it was super cool. He's a big inspiration to me. I think, um, you know, it's funny. When I go to the show, I don't even dunk. I haven't dunked in so long. And then, you know, I got the call. I was like, well, I better get to work. And we got to work. But um, everything, I've really, uh, you know, I know it's hard to, you know, judge G League. But if you look at my stats, like I'm an overall player. I'm a point guard. I'm scrappy on defense. And uh, just my shot, you know, I feel like it's been really good this year. So I just work on everything I can. Film is really big to me. So, uh, just just kind of the steady of everything, kind of growing that. Standing in the back right. Here, Jesus Rodriguez with Univision. Quick question. Since the moment you were born, you have the umbilical cord around your neck, and then you actually been from success to success, and I just want a piece of survive from you. What it does it take to be successful in life? Um, it's tough, you know. I think the biggest thing is it's, it's a cliche, but you can really do whatever you want to do. I've had so many people, even at the highest level, like if you're a young kid and someone who is like an inspiration to you, like someone that you respect so much tells you you can't do it, it doesn't matter. Literally, if you manifest and put your mind to it, you can literally um, make your life and reinvent yourself every day. Last question on this left side. Mac, uh, up here in the front. Yeah. Um, how tough was it to come up with creative dunks, knowing how many dunks we've already seen in past dunk contests and everything? How tough was it to create original, unique dunks that you know, fans hadn't seen before? It's tough, man. Uh, I think uh, my friends Zach Irvin and Bradley Dean were probably so tired of me calling them at night, sending them videos like, hey, what do you think about this dunk? Like, what do you think about this dunk? Like, every five minutes. So, uh, but it was a lot of fun at the same time, being creative and trying to figure some things out. So uh, it was a little bit of both and a little fun and stress to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys Thanks so much. Everybody. Appreciate it.